First, Vav Hofal. We've looked at the Hifil, now let's look at the Hofal. And if you know the Hifil, generally the Hofal comes fairly easily. So what do we have in the Hofal? Well, for first Vav, we have the Vav showing up everywhere, just like the Hifil, right? And just like the Nifal. In the Nifal, you saw the first Vav everywhere. In the Kal, you didn't see it anywhere. Also, like the Hifil, you see the first Vav showing up as a vowel everywhere. Okay, this is called the Shuruk, so the U here, and this is going to be key. Remember this for your first Vav Hofal. It's the Shuruk, the U sound. In the Hifil, we also, it also showed up as a vowel everywhere. It was the Holom Vav. In the Nifal, it only showed up as a vowel in the perfect and the participle. In these other forms, it was a consonant. It looked like this. Remember, we had this. It looks similar to this, but it's a vav. This is a consonantal vav. With a dagash forte, this was your assimilated nun and a vowel under it. You know that this is not a vowel because it has a vowel immediately following it. You can't have two vowels in a row in Hebrew. So you know this has to be a consonant. Here, you know this here is a vowel. Hu shav. Because you need to have a vowel in there somewhere, and this is the only thing you have. Okay? So don't get these confused. Um, okay, so the Hofal has the original vowel is retained, like the Nephel and Hifil, unlike the Kal. The original Vav is retained as a vowel in all forms, unlike the Nephel, where it shows up as a vowel only in the perfect and the participle. In the other forms, it shows up as a consonant. And it shows up as a Shuruk in the Hofal. This is the key thing here. Remember that. In the Hifil, it showed up as a Holom Vav. Otherwise, it's regular. Okay, let's do some comparisons here. This is the strong, again, with the first Vav in the Hofal perfect. Hofkad, Yushav. Hofkada, Yushava. Notice this is three syllables. Yushava. Okay, that's a vocalic Shava there, or a vocal Shava. Hofkada, Kamatotuf, Hushavta. Okay, so your U is what's important all the way through. And in, for the perfect, it's at the hay, so of course you get who. And then for the imperfect, we have yofkad and yushav. Tofkad, tushav. So again, the u is what's carrying all the way through. And of course with the imperfect, you have a number of different um, prefixes, the yud, the tav, the aleph, and the nun. With the perfect, we had the hifal hay, right? These are hifal hay, right here. In the imperfect, we have the prefixes we expect with the imperfect. Now, one other thing which I mentioned before already is yahol. Remember yahol? I hope you're able to remember this word. It means to be able. Yahol means to be able, and it, it is irregular. In the imperfect, it looks like this. Yu Chal. Remember that? And um, this, Yu Chal, looks just like this, Yu Shav. So this looks like a first valve Hofal. You got the U there. It looks like a Hofal. It's not a Hofal. It's actually Kal. Okay? So this is a form that is irregular. Looks like a Hofal, but it's actually a Kal. So again, the thing you want to remember with Hofal is you got U. And you have it in all the forms, so it's, it's fairly regular.